I'm a physician, I feel obligated to let the public know that I have reason for concern. It's just a few cases. It's certainly not a scientific study, but the cell phone manufacturers say don't touch it to your skin. And for the most vivid case, the one that really stands out is a 38-year-old lady uh, who worked at a cell phone testing factory. And 38 years old, no family history of breast cancer, no reason to be uh, concerned, but these cell phones that were activated were going in a conveyor belt below both breasts. And she, she had several years of exposure, and she developed cancer in both breasts in the lower aspect, the area most close to the cell phone. I've never seen anything like that before in my entire career or heard of anything like that. First of all, I started out with, with no preconceived ideas about cell phones. I use them all the time. My friends use them all the time. You know, I was aware of some data that suggested they may be associated with brain cancer, but it didn't resonate with me. It was a non-issue until uh, we saw the first patient uh, who had, uh, she was in her late 30s and presented with a cancer in the upper inner aspect of the left breast. And the uh, distribution of the cancer was remarkably similar to the uh, shape of the cell phone that she had stored in her bra for about seven years. And uh, it was an unusual cancer, multiple small cancers in a woman with no family history. So it was an unusual presentation. And so in the back of my mind, I said, well, you know, maybe there is some kind of a correlation. I, I think of it as a red flag. There, there's reason for getting more information. And when you correlate that with the observation on this one patient, this very unusual tumor and this history of cell phone use, it led me to be a bit concerned about it. It kind of opened my eyes, but I didn't feel motivated to go any further than that until two, two months later, a second very similar case, not quite as dramatic in terms of the type of cancer, but this location directly under where the cell phone touched the breast was, was the same, and the patient herself uh, brought up this point. I said, well, we did have another case, but at that point, I sent out a memo to Be Aware Foundation, uh, asked the doctor monthly newsletter, and got quite a response from patients who uh, had similar uh, experiences where they were quite concerned that the use of the cell phone in the bra contributed to cancer that was directly under uh, the cell phone. So there were nine or 10 of those cases. I got a response from a male who kept it in his shirt pocket uh, for years and male breast cancers are so unusual and he had no family history. My feeling at the present time is that women should be aware of the fact that the cell, cell phone company uh, in their manual suggests that you shouldn't have a cell phone touching your tissue. And uh, I think that I was surprised to learn just how many women actually do store the cell phone in the bra. 